And what a disappointing afternoon for Andy Galvin. Really heartbroken then. I'm sure something happened to the machine as Andy Smith's back wheel touched it coming off that cob in the corner. Came up from the sunny south coast this morning. Now enjoying an outing there in the Hellfire British Championship, Heat 17. All right on as well. Come on, let's see your appreciation for him then. The little Steve Scottfield, small of stature, but giant on two wheels. Now for the other. Clark, Cox, Collins and Davis. All four ready green lights on. Being held away. Cox makes a good game. Davis makes a bit of the edge. Davis gets the corner first. Cox looking at the line from the inside. Collins in third. Clark at the back of the main the way. Then the back straight for the first time. Davis leads into that cob in the corner. And Collins looking at the line through on the inside of Cox, but Cox hangs on to his second spot as they come and complete one and Davis. Start the sandwich off hard in this one now. Three points here with Virtue Shore going through as Collins gets inside Cox and that fits cut of Cox. Sweets back round Collins to retake his second spot. Clark losing contact at the back of the mid the way. For the complete two. Davis in control. It's Cox in second. Collins in third. Clark at the back. In fact, a very good list between the four of them. They make their way down the back straight then for the third time. Davis looks over his shoulder. He's going to this competition seven times in 11 appearances. Looks to be going to qualify this afternoon as he leads now. Coming to the start, his last stop. It's still Cox in second. Collins in third. That might be enough for Neil Collins as they make their way down the back straight then for the follow time. It's still got the same between all fours. They hit the top in the corner for the follow time. So three points to John Davis. That's going to book his passage through. Second, Mervyn Cox. The third spot, Neil Collins. That might not be enough for the Sheffield Rider. And John Davis gets the applause of the Kings in fans there as he enters that pitch corner he gets three points after the move on the nine he's through second Marvin Cox he's got eight and the third spot and third spot there Neil Collins in race 18 I'm going to lose the race this time I'll be sorry for looking alike John Davis to the startling and there's a yellow flag into the pits he goes this and John's winning time 64.9 64.9 second in blue was Marvin Cox and third in white, Neil Collins. John Davis, the winner, 64.9 million winners of time. And the thing there, right, of course, a lucky game in Hamilton, there's no score. Riding at number two, Marvin Cox finishes on eight points. Riding at number seven, Neil Collins finishes on five. And riding at number 16, John Davis finishes on nine. Well, Heat 19, give us the new East champion. We'll find out shortly. Riding in Heat 19, Simon Ross in red. Richard Knight runs in blue. Chris Morton in white. And in general black, Simon Wick, Heat 19. See, neither Knight nor Morton or Cross that are going to give him anything because they're all in with a chance of winning that British crown. It's so desperately tight. And then in 20, Everett's on 10, Tatum on 10, Silver on 4, absolutely desperate for points. So it's all to go for in these closing two heats. Watch for him, but not an easy race by any far stretch because next to him is Chris Morton, or Richard Knight, and Simon Cross. They're all pacemakers in this home fire British final in their own way. So anything but an easy ride, what a climax to the 88 British final this is. Simon Cross then in red, Richard Knight in blue, Chris Morton in white, and Simon Wig in yellow and black. Up on the race to end all races. So finally settling for 19, Cross, Knight, Morton and Wig. All four ready, green lights on, being held. 
Lee Holder, William Wig makes a good game for the ball. He gets a corner first, and he's got a clear line on the outside. Cross to Wig, but Wig got the clear line around the outside, made the game, and they've got to work to catch Wig now. Wig could be on his way to becoming British champion. As Wig shows Enfin Cross, not in third, Morton Peck back at the back, and they come the complete one. He just got the corner first, and Wig, he's touching away in this one now. As Wig leads into that pistol, and Morton battles his way through the last, the second goes wide, and Cross gets cuts back inside Morton. Right now at the back, I'd have been in second spot at one time, and Morton back inside the cross. They really have the dog fight for second and third there. Knight coming back in the action as Wig blows alone through at the front into the fifth corner for the second time. Then it's crossing second. Morton for the Knight coming alongside cross now. In fact, it's on into the company corner for the third time. A lap in the corner to go for Simon Wig to become British champion. At the moment second is Simon Cross. The third spot Morton Knight back back at the back. Down the back straight goes Simon Wig. He just got the drop on that four gate and he is going to be the British champion this afternoon. Into the company corner goes for the full time and three for three points we'll see him lift up in his game with 14 points he wins it for the wheelie second time and cross the third spot Chris Morton it was a tight one Morton got the drop from the four gate got to the corner first just got to the corner first he wasn't shoved out by anybody he made sure he wanted to get that first corner first and he was there first and he salutes the crowd going down that back straight the first time he has lifted the British crown the Oxford promotion team of John Tremblay and promoter Bernard Crapper are out there to wait for their order. What a brilliant result for the young player from Oxford. Simon Wigg about to go up in the air, I feel. Yet we pulled up with the machine, the whole crew is there, including Bernard Crapper. And Jimmy and Wigg is clever. Oh, there goes Wiggy. One, two, three. <laughs> Simon and Wick will talk to him on the presentation later. What a marvellous afternoon it's been for him. Well, thank you. It's just to confirm the official result. The winner and the British champion, the Indian Ironman, Simon Wick. Simon's winning time, 1419, was 64.4. 64.4. Second in bed was Simon Cross. And third in white, Chris Morton. Oh, I should keep there, Simon with the winner, 64.4 on the winning time. And those four riders then will finish 12. Simon Cross, riding at number 3, finishes with 11 points. Richard Knight, riding at number 12, finishes with 10 points. Chris Morton, riding at number 13, finishes with 11 points. And Simon Wade, riding at number 6, finishes with 14 points. So, still a few things to be sorted out. We go on to E20, it's New Evans in red, Kelvin Tatum in blue, Andrew Silver in white, Jeremy Doncaster, Yellow Black, E20, and the riders are on two minutes. Second and third, because the way they finished that race, with Foster getting the second, the other two got two points. And Jeremy Doncaster from Ipswich in yellow and black. Anybody's race, anybody's guess. Well, out onto the centre green comes Billy Robinson from the SCB. The man who's going to hand over that trophy for Simon Wick. A man that uh, Bill knows ever so well from grass track days. Brett in the seatbelt and his little lady as well. Already waiting here is uh, John Taylor from Pearl Products. And Roger Honey as well. We look at heat 20 now. On the inside, Neil Evans in red from gate one, Kelvin Tatum from Coventry of gate two in blue, Andrew Silver from Swindon in white of gate three, and from Ipswich, Jeremy Lancaster in yellow and 